Hello, welcome to our fourth lecture on internet marketing. If you haven't been following us, I do believe that this is the right time to try to take a look at our first, second, and third lecture. As uh, that will help you to have a comprehensive understanding of what we are discussing here, and also you know help you to build overall uh, understanding of the course that we are treating. Okay. With that said, uh, let us move straight into the key elements of today's uh, discussion. Today we are going to look at website design and development. Okay, uh, it's imperative to start by stating that website is a vital tool for creating a remarkable online presence. Website is just like your online office where customers go to look uh, for information about you, about your products and services, place orders. Uh, relay their views, feedbacks, and complaints, and get a response from you within uh, the short, shortest possible time, uh, okay? Because one of the features of internet marketing is that it is instantaneous. All the transactions, discussions, and the reviews take place within a, a, a short possible moment in time, unlike the offline version of the office, okay? So, the website represents the cornerstone for any web strategy, yes, because uh, for you to be known uh, uh, in today's e-commerce and the business world, the website is the office, the, 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 the virtual office that customers reference to when they want to have a vivid discussion with you. Uh, it is like the place they can go to from anywhere in the world and that's any given point in time. Okay. Like the contact us section, uh, the web, the web page that features your contact details is more like, uh, the receptionist giving them information about who to reach and how to reach them. The, 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 the home section is more like the entrance of your company. So everything you have in the physical uh, company is also represented in the, in the virtual office through the website, okay? It is the online office for the company where customers can come around and engage in similar activities like they would do for the offline office and also make purchases as they desire, yes, uh, because most of the websites that are into selling businesses and products do have uh, uh, links or platforms through which customers can actually purchase for a given product or service and have it delivered to them, okay? So in most cases, the response rate can be as fast as the offline office and in some times they might even be faster than the on offline office as uh, some websites now have 24 hour support systems where customers can reach out to them from anywhere or point in time and then have their issues addressed, okay? because that is the main 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 feature of internet market so why is the website the center of your online business strategy this is because you are in full control of the page you can edit information such as your desire and then update those information for your customer to also gain access to it instantaneously okay it is a strong and powerful tool because it allows you to include all your businesses all your products and services within a, a, a frame, a short frame where customers can access it virtually as if they were to be in your online, offline office, okay? Uh, then all roads lead to the website. Yes, because no matter whether they are reaching you through your social media platform, your blogs, RS, RSS, and all other means of communication that are available in the online pl platform, okay? The, the end the end future of such communication will, also, will always come back to your website where they can see the product or service that you're talking about in detail and decide to make purchase, pay for such products and have it delivered to them, okay? So companies are expected to have a website if they are to remain competitive, if they are to enhance their overall competitive edge in the digital age. Uh, uh, overall success of any company in today's business world is, is directly linked to its online presence. So having a website is one of those ways through which we can retain touch and always be there for our customers 24-7 no matter where they are in any part of the world, okay? It is the company's online home and office, yes, as it also offers stability. 
you know, being able to reach your company for a particular product or service at any given point in time is something that customers do enjoy. So companies that are able to make provisions for such are known to perform better because they can reach higher uh, uh, markets and, and assess uh, more opportunities, unlike companies that depend entirely on their offline office. Yeah, okay. So why is why do we say that the website is the equivalent of an offline office okay this is because in the office customers need to know where to visit and also in the website they need to know how a particular page works and the particular page to visit okay that is what we mean by user experience so when you are looking for contacts of any uh, representative in the company you just go to the contact section of the website if you want it in the offline office, the, the, the sales rep or the receptionist will give you that as well, okay? So wherever you have in offices in the offline uh, uh, business world, is represented as web pages in the website, okay? The office environment should be clean, welcoming, professional and neat. This is also the same for the website because they should be based on necessary good principles and look professional. This is uh, what we reference as user interface. Yes, you don't want to have uh, all your products and services jam packed together, clustering all around the web page, you know, leading to confusion and misunderstanding for the customers. They are arranged in serial ways or in a way that makes it customer makes it easier for the customers to understand what you are actually talking about, the products and services you are offering, their features and prices and so on and so forth. Okay, so all these necessary considerations that are put into place in the offline business world is also applied in the online business world through your website. Okay, in offices, customers can ask questions to the A house representatives, yes, and also in the website, the answer to their questions can be provided through uh, a chat booth that are available uh, via the website, also through the company's uh, official social media platforms where they can actually engage with chat representatives uh, instantaneously, okay? Uh, so when you take our banks, for instance, let's uh, take uh, the United Bank for Africa, for instance, if if uh, if uh, the, I, I am one of the customers that have never been to bank uh, in the physical office for over two years now, because all the services I need are also available in the online setting. If you want to make transactions, you can do that using your mobile banking, your USSD. You can even use your Leo uh, for chat banking via WhatsApp and so on and so forth. So we see that virtually going to the offline office becomes. Uh, uh, less important and uh, whatever you are being offered in the offline office you can actually obtain it in their online office okay so product browsing and purchase like you do in the in the offline office you can also do it in the online office and the online office seems to be more comprehensive because it details all the products and services in a way that is easier for you to comprehend and understand you know they are arranged in serial settings and you can actually browse through them one after the other you know as you so desire okay leaflets are left in the offices why in the website you have bookmarks once you bookmark a certain web page it keeps popping popping out whenever you need it okay so uh, the, the, the strategies that are also applied, as you can see, the strategies that are also applied in the offline business world are also applicable in the online business world. So that is why we say that the website is the equivalent of your of your uh, offline office. Okay. So when building a website, there are certain elements, there are certain features that you need to consider. Okay. And now we are going to look at the specification uh, sheet. A specification sheet for a website is a document that articulates the goal of the project, the objectives and tactics that you are going to deploy in uh, developing and managing your website. Okay, so the main element or the key features is that you should outline the constraints, that is the challenges that you are going to face, uh, such as uh, budgets, deadlines or technical restraints that you will probably face in the course of developing, running and maintaining the website. because. Just like a physical office, a website also requires constant maintenance, you know, like you have to clean up your physical office, you have to also ensure that your uh, uh, domain name is uh, registered, paid for, protected using site log, uh, you have high SEO uh, management systems 
and so on and so forth okay so basically the specification sheet is divided into two the first section deals with design and why the second section deals with the technicality okay so in terms of design they refer to the uh, uh, user interface okay the, the 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 front end programming system the things that customers see okay how the website looks uh, the features that it contains its web pages the how the web pages are designed how they are interrelated to each other and so on and so forth then technicality refers to the back end programming the, the ones the, the code that actually run this website which the customers don't uh, uh, see you know uh, the things that make it possible for 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 the website to function the way it is expected to do okay so as as uh, you can see uh, once you are able to understand the overall objectives of your website the possible constraint and then uh, uh, have a sound specification sheet that details the, the 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 design and technicalities involved you are already on your way to to building a sound website okay so uh, further discussions will continue from here as we take you through the process of building a website and this will also include a possible programming uh, for you to uh, be able to build at least a simple website for your company thank you